Hello everyone, uh, this is a case of a posterior polar cataract and uh, the, under the slit lamp the size was around uh, 3 mm quite dense PPC and also you can see the riders uh, suggesting it to be a, a progressive posterior polar cataract. I was a little bit worried about the dots which is there at the margin. It can be the Jit Singh sign uh, and can be a grade 3 posterior polar cataract according to the Jit Singh classification. So I have to be very careful. The PC can be uh, thin or can be uh, damaged in those locations. So uh, planning to do a capsular axis of around uh, 4.5 to 5 millimeter. So the axis has been completed now. As we have to avoid uh, hydro dissection, I am using a spatula to separate the cataract from the undersurface of the capsule. So now I am doing uh, multi level hydro delineation after removing some of the viscoelastic from the anterior chamber. We should have a question of epinucleus above the posterior polar cataract during the surgery. And I want to have a nucleus rotation as well. So, we are initiating the phaco emulsification with the lower parameters, making a short trench, dividing it. The catheter was uh, the sclerosis was also there, and I want to do nucleus sclerosis. So, both the hemineucleus could be lifted with the second instrument without much rotation. Once both the hemineucleuses are gone, now it's time to take out those uh, epinucleus sheets which we are protecting the posterior polar cataract during the emulsification. So now I allow chamber to collapse, put viscoelastic before taking out. So I am inspecting now the posterior, polar, uh, the posterior capsule looks a little bit of uh, intact only. So now I am initiating by uh, your biomineral irrigation aspiration. My plan is to not to peel the central part. I will do it at the end. So bringing uh, the epinucleus sheet along with the cortex from the periphery towards the center. You can see that the central part is still attached. Putting viscoelastic so that I can swiss my cannulas. And uh, once uh, most of them have uh, peeled out from the periphery, now it's time to take out the central part as well. You see the, uh, the posterior capsule looks intact. Now I am removing some of the cortical fibers which are still attached there. Uh, better not to touch the central area which could be thin and can easily give way. And also I avoid uh, uh, polishing, the hydro polishing that I usually do in some cases. Now injecting uh, a hydrophobic single piece lens in the capsular bag. And uh, you can see that the lens is well centered, removing the viscoelastics. Thank you, thank you for watching.